Welcome to the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway here just outside of Stanley, Idaho. And it is a Monday morning and there's not a lot of traffic on the road, which is just the way that I like it. And uh, just over here you can see, I'm not sure if those are the Sawtooth Mountains or not. Uh, they very well may be, but uh, if I pan across, I think uh, maybe those are the uh, actual Sawtooth Mountains. But regardless, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. And I am going to uh, drive from Stanley, Idaho down to Boise, Idaho by the uh, Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway. And here's a uh, information panel that tells you, you know, what uh, what you can expect along the way. Up there at the at the top right, that green dot in Stanley, where uh, 75 and Highway 20 come together. So I'm just going to uh, mosey my way on down to Boise. I don't think I'm going to take 21 the entire route. I think that uh, right up there by Loman in the center, I'm going to cut off and uh, take the, I think it's the Wildlife Canyon Scenic Byway, perhaps, which uh, won't be as twisty or windy. So the one thing that I'm looking forward to is number seven, Kirkham Hot Springs. Its uh, origins date back in geologic time when volcanoes dom dominated the land, forming a rugged landscape of Idaho Snake River Plain. Molten rock still continues to heat water deep beneath the crust. Open seasonally, the hot spring features an interpretive trail along with camping and picnicking. So let's go for a uh, let's go for a let's go for a drive down the uh, Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway. Driving along just outside of Stanley, you can see that uh, looks like there was maybe a, a forest fire that came through this area, if not some type of uh, disease that's hit the, uh, the trees. But uh, it is still a, uh, still a beautiful day for a drive. Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway, that would imply that uh, we're going to see a lot of, if these aren't uh, ponderosa pine themselves, as we drive along. I'm just driving along, and uh, you know, I think I've been driving now, better part of over 20 minutes, and this car coming up right here is only the second car that I've seen uh, in either direction. There's nobody behind me, and at the moment, nobody in, in front of me, and it's just a... Uh, it's a nice drive. It's a nice drive. It's a rather uh, uneventful drive. It's relatively, relatively level. I think I'm at about 6,200 feet, and uh, I'm in the Chalice National Forest at the moment. But uh, for all intent and purpose, it's just a uh, uneventful, uh, very scenic, scenic drive from uh, from Stanley down to uh, Boise on the, the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway. Now we are into the Boise National Forest, and uh, I saw a sign welcoming me to Boise County. Well, it wasn't welcoming me, but it just said Boise County. And uh, we're going down a uh, down a grade for a little while, about a six percent grade. For uh, well, there's a sign coming up just here on the right, and uh, well, it's 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 actually blank. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, this is Idaho, folks. Highway 21, Stanley to uh, Stanley to Boise. No shortage of twisty, windy roads coming uh, down the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway, and there's a, a few spots where uh, you can see rocks have have fallen onto the onto the road so there's something to be said about the signs that say beware of uh, falling rocks but uh, we'll make it I'm trying to make it to a city called Loman and uh, just before Loman I think there's a a hot spring that uh, I want to check out I found my way to the Kirkham Ridge trailhead parking area and somewhere around here is a hot spring, Kirkham Hot Springs. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it or not, but uh, maybe I will. It's supposed to be a rather nice, uh, nice hot spring here. 
on the uh, Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway. So we'll drive a little bit further and see if we can't, uh, can't find it. Well, I found my way to the uh, Kirkham Hot Springs area, and there's actually a, uh, actually a campground here. There's uh, a few people camping. I don't know that there's any uh, hookups, so to speak, or even that you can get Wi-Fi here, but let's see what this says. It says, uh, hot spots and rotten eggs, track the heat, and life at the cauldron. Hot springs provide a unique habitat for plants and animals as well as natural spas for people. The unusual soil and water chemistry along with constant warmth supports species found nowhere else. So we're gonna go and take a look. Looks like these have been, uh, these signs have been here for quite some time. Here is a uh, diagram and it says you are right right there so there are the the springs they have numbered one two and three so I'm gonna take a walk down and and see fifteen dollars uh, for a single site if you want to camp here fifteen dollars uh, daily fee and uh, thirty dollar a double site I see a little chipmunks running, running around, if you can see that little, little guy there. But uh, let's take a walk. See a sign saying that this is bear country. Natural hot springs. Water temperatures are very, by sight, ranging from warm to very warm, 180 degrees. Wow. Nudity is prohibited. And uh, now here is a stream coming down. I don't know if this is going to be hot or not. Let me step, step my foot in there. No, it is. It's warm. Look at that. All right. I'm going to find my way down. Will you look at this? This is, uh, boy, so much nicer than where I was just uh, yesterday up by Stanley. Look at that water. And this is all hot spring water coming, coming down out of, the, uh, out of the hills. And it mixes with the cool, cool water and gives you some, uh, some really nice pools. So I'm going to go... go uh, Walk my way down there and see if uh, see if I can't uh, share this with you. All right, a gentleman was kind enough to tell me that I saw some folks walking up this path right up here, and he was saying that path will take you to some pools, a couple pools a little bit further uh, downstream. But he said the the nicest pools are right here, and they have a walkway down to the down to the pools and there was a gentleman here with his family and he was telling me it's been a while since he's been here and he said normally the river is flowing a lot faster and is a lot higher so uh, this being late summer you're not going to have as much of a flow in the in the river and uh, should should be an optimal experience so we're gonna go down and see if we can't find out I just got to Trying to find my my way down the trail here without uh, killing myself. So this will give you a nice uh, nice idea to the trail. Let's see if I can't just kind of find my way down. Of course, I took the uh, I took the wrong trail. I should have come down over there, but that's okay. All right. Being a former infantryman, I can uh, I can think I can make my way way down. Now, will you look at this? Look at this, folks! Wow, this is nice. This is very very nice. And here's the trail going down. 
relatively easy. To be quite honest with you. Here's your hot water coming down. Wow, fantastic. Very, very nice. Just natural pools, if you will. All right. Here's a woman just enjoying her soap. Boy, this looks nice. How's the water? Nice? Is it nice? Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Look at that. All right, I'm going to get in. I think there's even another little little pool right here. Fantastic. Look at that. Boy, to say this is nice would be uh, quite the understatement. This is, uh, wow, this is fantastic. I'm kind of waiting my turn to see if I can't find my way into the, uh, into the waterfall there. But uh, look at that. Very, very nice. So there's a gentleman here telling me that uh, there's more pools just over this way, but uh, they're a lot hotter, almost too hot. And uh, this one seems to be just right. It really does. This is just fantastic. Oh, boy. It doesn't get better, folks. This is fantastic. Nature at its finest. It is uh, just wonderful. Boy, I hope you're able to make it here someday. Here's your view as if you were under the under the waterfall. Look at that. Wow. This is really nice. Really, really nice. Boy, I gotta tell you. I don't know. I can't really necessarily say that I've ever been in something quite this uh, quite this special. Look at it. Very nice. All right. Fantastic. Boy, you know, I'm struggling with uh, how long I should stay. It's a Monday morning, and there's not a lot of people here. And I'm just kind of, I found a nice spot right underneath the waterfalls. And, uh, boy, it is, it's undescribable. Absolutely undescribable. All right, so you know this. I, I saw somebody jump off the rocks into the river, and then I saw this uh, this young uh, man and, and lady, and they're gonna they're gonna jump in, and they said they were doing this yesterday, and that that it's cold, so you're gonna jump, not dive, right? All right, let's see it. Do a cannonball. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And the stream is, uh, and here goes this. This lovely lady there. Fantastic. Just fantastic. All right, folks. All right, I definitely got to show you the uh, the other pools. And I was told that they are uh, a little bit warmer, if not hotter. So here's the uh, here's the, the path that you'll climb up. Nothing uh, nothing too difficult, to be honest with you. And let's see what's on the other side. Here you go. Look at this. You see? Look at that. Very, 
Very nice. You could easily come and spend a uh, spend a day here, I'm sure. Just wonderful. There's a gentleman up there. We'll go up and uh, looks like there's yet another pool. All right, on with the byway, the scenic byway, Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway. And boy, what a nice stop that was. That was, you know, that was really something else. That was uh, unlike uh, anything that I've ever been to. It was just uh, fantastic. Now I need to find my way to, uh, find my way to Boise. And I'm coming into the town of, of Loman here momentarily. And I'm gonna uh, take, a, uh, take a right uh, instead of going 21 down to Boise, I'm going to take a right and go through, I think it's called Garden Valley, which is uh, supposed to be very, very scenic. So here we, uh, here we go. We're entering Loman as I speak. Well, folks, I've come to a fork in the road, so to speak, and uh, I just uh, am leaving the Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway here in uh, Loman. And in doing so, I am, uh, it's the sign there says change advised beyond this point, which is telling me that it's a twisty, windy uh, mountain, mountain road. So I'm going to take this way. And the sign up ahead says that this is the, uh, looks like Wildlife Canyon Scenic Byway. So say goodbye to uh, Ponderosa Pine Scenic Byway and hello Wildlife Canyon Scenic Byway.